gonna skip to the very end because you're very ungrateful with this interview. And I've wasted my own time and money to do this. You guys are just bitching. So yeah, I'm just gonna get to the very end. Three, two, one. This is me interviewing some of YouTube's biggest creators for free. And while you're probably wondering how I pulled this off, well, it's pretty simple. The first step was to sneak into all of their homes and hold them at gunpoint until they said yes. Okay, I'm obviously joking. I actually had to sneak into the biggest YouTube event of all time, Vid Summit. You see, the cost of a single ticket is $1,000. And since my lifetime earnings on YouTube is $16, I plan to create an exact replica of the $1,000 wristband in order to get inside just so I can interview all these YouTubers to see if they'll risk their careers by answering the most controversial questions. How many gingers are there? Yeah, what was this? What are you talking about? And well, in order to pull this off, the first step was to buy supplies and head to an underground illegal print shop in order to make the wristband. It's practically almost perfect. If I ever need to make a new passport or disappear, you're the guy. If I ever do something that's federal, which I never would, I call you if I want to disappear. After I got the fake wristband, I moved on to my second step, which was to sneak in. Now, there was one issue that I was facing, which was that the wristband did not match. Obviously, the red is not as perfect, but I have a Sharpie. Dude, this isn't even in caps. Oh shit. See, I was so hyped up and a little scared that I completely forgot to compare the two, which is a vital mistake because if any one of those security guards took a closer look at my wrist, this entire video would have been a failure and I could have gone to prison for criminal trespassing. But with that risk in mind, I chose to commit to the plan and sneak in anyway because nothing was going to stop me from getting these interviews. I mean, the part I'm actually not worried about is getting in. It's setting up. Th th that's actually the hardest part of all of this. <laughs> and just like that, I was in. Not a single security guard stopped to check my wristband, probably because they knew that I'd be incriminating myself in a public YouTube video. But with no time to waste, I quickly moved on to my last and final step, which was to illegally set up my station and get these interviews ready. Hey Tyler, I want to interrupt you. First, you want to make a donation to Save the Kids? <laughs> At all, by any chance. Are we live right now? Actually, I'm doing free interviews. You want to do one really quick? Sure, let's go. All right, come on, come on. It's a little interview, actually. Yeah, let me, let me, let me go and change my suit. Of course. And then I'll swing by, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Appreciate, appreciate it then. See you in like uh, 10, 15. I'll be here. Yeah. I would have nowhere else to go. Are y'all doing a free interview? My list. I would say, how many do you have that free? One. One? I can do it in 59 seconds. Can you tell everybody your name, your age, sexuality, social security number? If you want to do the last one, you can. My name is Jaden Ortico. My name is Seth Goblin. We're here with Mindsquire. My name is Jack K. I'm 37, and I'm in a beastie. Now, first, before we start, do you want to make a donation to the Crypto Zoo Victim Fund? I have no money. Oh, it's uh, crypto only. Crypto? I have no crypto. Okay, good, good. Well, good, actually, good. if you were to give me the crypto, I'll pull a logo ball and just keep it for myself. Oh, shit. Okay. Here we go. Fittiest man, shake my hand, please. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. This is your mic. We're going to start this interview, okay? I've done with a bunch of you today. I'm actually more excited for you. Fuck off. Start the Let's interview, go. bro. Go. I love this. First question simple, light. Best YouTube controversy. Oh, Fousey. Classic. Oh, Fousey. 100%. Fousey. Fousey's the most entertaining one ever. Anything he does is just so insane. He's Thanos, though. Like, he is Thanos. Oh, he is this shit who's Korean multiple times. Yeah. So here's my take on Fousey, too. He clearly has mental issues. To me, that's not not a controversy to me. Uh, uh, take care of yeah. this man. EDP 445? Come on, you know you want it. <laughs> that is funny. How about EDP 445? Yeah. Fist bump? What? On count, we take cupcakes. One, two, three. Cupcakes. Cupcakes. Get some rage girls. Next one. Whoa. 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 You know EDP? Who that? No, you're trolling. I'm getting trolled right now. You're actually trolling. No, the EDP. Oh, oh dude. Probably the Crypto Zoo and Logan Paul. I feel like that has the most content around it. Crypto Zoo was interesting. The Crypto Zoo documentary was so engaging. No, Crypto Zoo. Crypto Zoo, no. I'm probably the wrong person in the interview. How about Tifu face contract? Listen, if you sign a contract, you sign the contract. Release the contract. What is it, phase? I may or may not have gotten a, a contract that says the same thing. How is the speed for Nono at contract? See, a lot of people have been asking that today. It's actually whenever he showed his meat. His meat where? He showed his meat on his Twitter. Dick. Well, that's not a controversy. That's just like, oops. I mean, I don't even know if that was, I feel like that was orchestrated. Oh, that was funny. That was great. He's back. Oh. 
it's her wrong for me to say, yeah, he is. Oh, yeah, for sure. What is that for? It's for uh, Save the Kids. Honorable mention, Sam Pepper, killing my best friend Frank. I think you should oh. do that on your channel. Crazy views. That would be good. I don't know the idea, bro. No, it's good. It's good. Pause, pause. Okay. See, after that non-consensual head rub, I quickly realized that my true purpose of being there was not to talk about the controversies and dramas, but really I was interviewing all of these YouTubers for the sole reason of the money and the fame. I'm making no money. I'm just here on my own agenda, really. And everyone's here trying to learn, network, and I'm just here trying to make a video make, to make people laugh and smile and have fun. I shouldn't even be in here, really, because my wristband's not even real. Got from some uh, guy at an illegal immigrant printing shop. I can't be more appreciative of how people are showing me love. I can't take any of this for granted at all. My only thing here to do is to impress people and to make them happy, make them smile, because at the end of the day, a lot of people don't get that. And if they do, it's artificial, so I want to bring them the authentic version of happiness, not the artificial one that they can get on their phones. So yeah, back to the interviews. Let's continue, I'm motherfucker. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> fucking sick of this shit. Let's go. Who is on your YouTuber, Mount Rushmore? Do you know what Mount Rushmore is? No. Absolutely no idea. It's the four greatest YouTubers in your opinion. Go. Yes, yeah, so it's Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. I feel like I have to say Mr. Beast. No doubt you got Mr. Beast on George Washington. Mr. Beast. Fuck, that was mine. Mr. Beast. Mr. or Mrs. Beast? It's Mr. Mr. Beast and Megan Who, Who's Mrs.? I don't know. It's 2023 nowadays. You never know. <laughs> the Mr. Beast has to be on there. I don't watch none yeah. of his content, but it's it's undeniable. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. <laughs> Mr. Beast, obviously. James Charles. Dream. Jeffree Star, maybe? I would say the last one would have to be Phase Rain. Phase Rain? I'm putting Phase Rain. Is it Phase Rain before the drugs or after the drugs? I put Cup of Cup. Uh, I put PewDiePie. Okay. Mr. Beast. Keemstar. No, <laughs> definitely not Keemstar. Niga Iga, old school, old school. PewDiePie, Mr. Beast. Definitely KSI. KSI. PewDiePie. I'd say Speed, bro. He's crushing it right now. I show me. I show the meat, yeah. It's Mr. Beast. And Mrs. Beast. And Mr. Beast. Okay. You want me to show you mine first? You yeah, let's see yours. Let's see yours. Okay. Beauty Bye. Okay, interesting. Mr. Beast. Case and I sat without sunglasses. Now that photo's pretty scary. And these two share a small Okay, okay yo, geez. You think this is acceptable or do you think you would change something on here? I wouldn't be offended. I would maybe replace PewDiePie with uh, Markiplier. Markiplier? He like created Five Nights at Freddy's. PewDiePie created YouTube. PewDiePie OG. Maybe a uh, filthy Frank on there at some point. Didn't they shave iDub's hair and eat it? iDub's probably on there somewhere too, right? <laughs> Who has the best and worst apology video? In your opinion. I'm gonna get on one knee because two knees is kind of gay. If you were offended by all of these, yeah. who would you forgive? Okay. Who would you just want to have ISIS behead them? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, maybe not that far. I think the absolute worst one was Logan Paul. I was gonna say Logan Paul. I think Logan Paul's. You think he did the best job or he did the best job of being no, the worst? We're gonna give him the best job. <laughs> worst one, definitely James Charles. I mean, he didn't really apologize. James Charles is the worst. Worst one, James Charles, because he's still doing it. I have to agree, I have to yeah. agree. James Charles, are you a big fan of James Charles? I'm a big fan. Yeah, you look like you watch James Charles a lot. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a compliment, no worries. Yes. Okay. Right. David Dobrik was the <laughs> worst up, the worst apology. Is it worse than her playing playing the ukulele? The ukulele I mean, was a choice. I think the ukulele girl is probably the best. You know, just the creativity really made me forgive her for what she did. What is she Miranda sings back in the day? Yeah, yeah, Miranda sings. Apparently she likes kids though. Maybe Miranda molests. I mean, it's not the worst thing on this list. We're gonna have to go worse for Travis Scott. Yeah, he got the kids killed, right? Yeah, like 10 of them, 11. Yeah. Travis is the best, bro. He's like shitting on the toilet. I don't watch apologies. You haven't seen any of these apologies? Astroworld, 10 people died, allegedly. Wait, who was it's not dying? legit. I didn't watch Travis Scott. Oh, he, he was doing this for a good four minutes. Do it with me, do it with me, do it with me. God, man, I can't believe 10 people just died like that. I'm gonna be honest, I think Logan Paul probably had the best or PewDiePie. Yeah, yeah, the best one is PewDiePie. 100%. 100%. Like, there's there. looking out, no question about it. 100%. PewDiePie is just like, this is what happened. This is how I feel about it. Very sincere. Yep. To the bug. Yep, honest. You gotta give it a PewDiePie yeah. for the end ball. The Got to. On three, let's say it. One, <laughs> two, three. Where is this photo from? It's a cropped image. You tell me where it's from. This this is PUBG on the bridge. PewDiePie when he made the famous comment. He said a certain word on this bridge that I cannot say, but you can probably say it if you would like. Fuck. Definitely the end word. Can you say it out loud? Yeah, yeah. Now I'm just gonna bleep it and I'm gonna clip it, so thank you. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> PewDiePie saying the uh, happy words. That when he said the N word? Yeah, but are you able to say like specifically what he said? No. I can't uh, get away with that one, unfortunately. Okay. I can. What a fucking nigga. How strong is your PR team, by the way? Bro, I have no PR team. It's terrible. 
Okay. Okay. Because after this, they're probably going to be demolished. I'm just trying to go for the worst possible brand on YouTube. When this video comes out, they're really going to be tested hard. Really? Yeah. Where is this photo from? That's k size hairline. It's his forehead. Oh, it's his hairline. As a man with a big forehead, you know, I, I respect that big forehead. It's the curls that hide it. Do you know where this photo is from? It's a mix between McDonald's and it looks like Taco Bell. It's a mix between all of the heart diseases in America in one photo. Nico avocado Oh, Nicado avocado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nicado avocado mukbang. Nicado avocado. Yeah. Everyone's been getting that today. I'm actually surprised. Of course, of course. Mukbang. Let's go. Is it mukbang or mukbang? Mukbang. You say mukbang? I, I say mukbang. I think it's cultural appropriation if I say mukbang. This one, very difficult. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you one hint. No, show me first. 2008. That's your hint. Serious event. A lot of people lost their lives. Their wives. I have no idea what I'm looking at. I honestly don't know. I don't think I've seen this photo. I have no idea. Oh wait. A historic moment in America history. 9/11. Close. Ryan Air CEO got slapped in the face with a K. No. It's different. Okay, give me the hint. 2008 market crash. Wait, that wasn't the hint. You just spoiled it. <laughs> so random. Yeah, it had nothing to do with YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> How was I supposed to get that? Yeah, I've seen this. I've, I have this framed in my room. Where is this photo from? Um, I would think this is 9-11! 9-11! You're very familiar with this one. Bro, that's, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Okay, so <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you missed a photo. No, no. Okay. Speaking of that last image, what was your best conspiracy theory? Conspiracy theory or fact that few people fail to acknowledge. I like that as well. I'm serious. I looked into a lot of the conspiracy theories because I find it fascinating that some people really believe in them even though there's very clear evidence. Yeah. I believe in Bigfoot. I believe in Bermuda Triangle. Mattress firms, money mattress laundering. Firm, yes, that's a big one. Too. I've never seen somebody inside of a mattress firm. I know all about mattress firm. Yeah. I like the mattress one. They're money laundering. Yeah, where something is happening that's there. The mattress firm was like nutting on their sheets or some shit. What? This is just factual. I mean, this oh, is you Seth, there before, yeah. Island. Yeah. 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 I've been there. If you were invited to Epstein's Island, would you go? No. Good. I, I, I would. Seems like a very good economical choice for my investment portfolio. Yeah. What is this? Flat Earth. Are you a flat earther? You kind of look like it, no offense. You believe the Earth's flat? No, fuck no. That's just, just funny, bro. Bro, the Earth is dead ass flat, bro. No, I swear to God. Oh, oh my fuck. fuck. Bro, here, 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 here we go. go. Controversial question break. How many gingers are there? No comment, bro. No comment. Yeah. I, I can tell you a very strong PR team. What is your net worth? What the hell is that question? Give me a number, I'll say higher or lower. 800,000. Uh, uh, yeah. Higher? Yeah. But what's yours? What's yours? You say number, I'll tell you higher or lower. 75K. 75K? Lower. I'm actually uh, in crippling debt. You watch yeah. Joe Rogan? Uh, certainly, yeah. yeah, yeah I like uh, occasional Joe Rogan. You gonna be on his podcast? Yeah. Just watch. You better say Free Palestine. Who would win a fight? A grizzly bear or a gorilla? Oh shit, honestly me. I think a grizzly bear. They're fucked. It's definitely a grizzly bear. 100% bear. Grizzly bear, easy. Bear wins, like, hands down. In a street fight, the grizzly bear is like Bradley Martin. He's 2 yeah, I was about to say. So, definitely Bradley Martin. he could take on anybody, right? <laughs> I think a gorilla would win easily. I think a gorilla, bro. Look at a gorilla. <laughs> gorilla jeans got the best jeans, though. Is that like Mark Twain? Where'd you get that from? What's Mark Twain? I'd vote for the gorilla. No. I'm starting to like you all the way up until this moment. All right. If you can box any YouTuber, not just them, any YouTuber, who would it be? No, sir, no. Sir. I'd fucking kill this kid. I, I we have a beef, dude. I swear to God. I'm gonna go Fousey. Probably Fousey. Fousey team. These guys are crazy, bro. I lose my brain cells. If we trained for six months, I can fucking box. We each of us started right now from six months. He think he could beat me. I can fucking box. Face rug. I'm with you right now. If you want to box. I'm down. I would put my athleticism up against anybody in the YouTube space. I would have to cut I because he's up. such a skinny twig. No, I, so I'd get up to your side. I get up to your size. No, you couldn't. Yeah, I could. I don't think you could. He said he wants to fight you. If he could box any YouTuber, he would chose you. What's your really? name, by the way? Uh, I'm Cash. He said he would fight you of any other Minecraft YouTuber. What the heck? I mean, I do have gloves in the car if you want to make no, it happen. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> you fucking agreed for 59 seconds, it's and now seconds. he's going more. Like it's, it's almost done. Voice critical. If you're watching this video, I would absolutely not box him. This is the last photo that we review, and then is the end of this fucking clip. Who we box? Who we box? Would I box? I'm gonna box Ryan Toy Review. No, no fuck you. I'm, I'm going to walk away after this. I'm, I, I, if I walk away with you, what happens then? <laughs> That's how I thought. That would be fine. No, I'm gonna skip to the very end because you're very ungrateful with this interview. I'm wasting my own time and money to do this. And you're out here just bitching. So, y'all, I'm just skip to the very end. I agree. Mary Smash Kill, Annoying Orange, Public Op AI, or Dream? I'm marrying them all. <laughs> <laughs> kill Dream? Yeah, Kill Dream. Probably marry Dream. No, we smash a Dream. You can't smash, bro. That's a dude right there. You fucking orange. It's like, it's less gay because it's an yeah. orange. Annoying orange, he's got that big mouth. I'm gonna go for him. How the fuck do you answer this question? Marry myself. Smash Quabble Cop. So you fuck Quabble Cop? Yes. Nice. Fuck him right in the ass. With or without consent? Without consent. Nice, that's course. how we like it over here.
Can we skip this question? I think this one will be easier for you to answer. Yeah, nobody's answered that all day. We're gonna skip past that one. That's a you guys. I really appreciate right, it, man. <laughs> yeah, it was fun, dude. This is, I didn't even expect this. This is very well prepared. They need to subscribe to you right now, dude. My name's Amr, by the way. Amr. Amr. Up and comer. Funny shit, Anwar. You are funny, bro. Good job. Okay, goodbye. Thank you for watching. That's pretty much it. I'm leaving. It's not done yet. You're the first person that I'm going to offer this decision up to. Okay. I promise it's not a weapon. I'm just going to blow something out real quick for you. Hey, this better not be some fuck shit. I don't, I don't fuck with that shit. I'm giving you one chance. Okay. This is a dog shot caller. I'm not doing nope. it. Nope. Nope. No, no. I will give you the chance to shock me right now. No, I'm not gonna shock you. Yeah, I'll shock you. Actually? Yeah, first. No can do, man. I need fucking views, dude. <laughs> do you want some content or what? That's what I'm saying. Can you sue me? Uh, I have good lawyers. You have strong lawyers and everybody, so I can't really combat you in court. I can only get you canceled online for this. My PR team is telling me no shocking. No shocking? Three, two, one. Please just taste. I'll moan for you, bro. It gets more views. Do it. Three, two, one. Did you feel it? You didn't press it. No, I did. Oh, wait, it's not even on. You idiot. Oh my god. I am now disagreeing to the shock. Club of Cop, known as Jordy, and what's your social security number? <laughs> Bubblegum has full consent to shock me with his dog. Bum! Guys, remember, there's only two genders. Epstein didn't kill himself, and Caitlyn Jenner is a man.